Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a bunny strip eelworm. The hook that I have in the vise, this is a Mustad popper hook. And it is number 33903. These are number fours. I like these, especially things like this, using a bunny strip to replace the rubber worm for bass fishing. The reason I use a popper hook is because it has these kinks in there and I'm going to use barbell eyes and I'm going to set them right in that first uh, kink in the hook and that way they'll always be in that same spot no matter how many I make. Plus that's a good thing and then gives you a little bit space in front whereas if you tie them on a flat and you put them real close to the eye you know you might have a little bit of problems there I'm just going to use a heavier uh, thread this isn't dark olive thread and it is 8 aught we start at the front and we're going to the rear and you want to get a good base around the eyes in front of the eyes and then you can open it up there a little bit until you get to the rear section because we're going to put a weed guard on and we want to have a pretty decent base for that weed guard to to go on to having the base really helps your materials to keep it from slipping for the weed guard I'm going to use a plastic coated wire and this wire is 0.38 millimeter I prefer that over the monofilament. Just never really had any problems with monofilament, but this is a little bit stiffer than monofilament, so I, I, I just think that this helps a little better. You could cut these with nail clippers and you're not going to do any damage to the nail clippers. I'm going to tie the weed guard in. Gonna try to keep that on top and I'm gonna go forward and then come back and try to get some nice tight wraps on the way back. And then we're going to take the weed guard around the bend slightly. Before I do that, I'm going to put it through my vise. Whoop, gotta tr trim that little spot off. And this vise, you can see it has a screw on the top, so make sure you don't put it on the back side of the screw. And we're going to bring this down around the bend. I'm just going to try to keep it on the top here by holding my finger. I'm going to go right to the vise. I could probably actually lift this hook higher and go down even a little bit further. It's not going to affect any hooking power that you'll have. This number four hook, you still got a pretty decent amount of uh, gap on there. This weed guard is actually going to act in two capacities. It's going to keep the fly from getting caught up in the weeds, obviously. That's why it's called a weed guard. But it's also going to help keep the bunny strip from getting tangled back around your fly. With that weed guard in there, it's going to prevent that. So I'll bring my thread back up to that eye. I'm going to put my barbell eyes on and yellow is the only color I have so put like five wraps one way well, five wraps the other way and I'll put like 
five wraps underneath the eyes and on top of the hook shank. I don't know, did I get five? Well, and then we'll put several wraps again, both directions, and then two, three, four, five. Want them in there nice and nice and firm. I'm gonna move my thread out of the way. And you want, at the very least, to put head cement in there. But a little drop of super glue is nice. I'm going to bring our thread back to the rear. We're going to stop right about where that barb would have should have been. Now I'm going to take, I got a nice uh, skin here, rabbit skin, and it's cut in nice strips. It kind of looks like a grizzly pattern on this. And I have a piece, and I cut this, and the hide itself is about two and a quarter, but the hair from the end of the hide to the hair is about three inches. So for this size, you want one about three inches. If you want it longer, it, you know, it's yours. You go ahead and make it longer. And you want to have it, you know, a wider, where you're going to tie it on, you want that to be a little bit wider. So it kind of wraps around the hook. And that helps you get it uh, even see it kind of wraps around the hook there it keeps that bunny strip right on top where it should be and again you can put a little drop of glue on there if you want I'm not going to do it here's something if you tie a lot of woolly buggers or you use a lot of chenille don't bother buying it you know three foot pieces I got this uh, I think I got this from Feathercraft and it's at actually a hundred yards and it was about ten bucks for a hundred yard skein I'm gonna cut my piece of chenille off and then you have it looped and just twist it just continue to twist it and it'll actually twist back on itself like that and then you can pull one end through the other here we go we're gonna tie this on now from here over it's basically a woolly bugger we're gonna tie this in yeah I could get a good I could get a good chunk of it don't have to get too tight there there we go And I chose a cream colored, uh, cream or white colored chenille. Then I'm going to take a grizzly hackle. And this grizzly hackle, here's a neck. And this is a good time to use up those, uh, those big ones that are on the, the top of that neck there. I'm going to tie this in by the tip. So I'm just going to hold the tip of my hand. And I'm going to strip it all back. Let's go ahead and stroke it back a few times. Then I'm going to tie it with the concave side to the hook shank. It's even not a bad idea. I got a couple of the standing hackles in there that'll, instead of giving it a crew cut, just stood them up and wrapped them through it. And we're going to wrap this right up to my eye. Bring my thread out of the way there. I'm just going to lay it over. Go ahead and wrap our chenille.
Yeah, I'm making this nice and tight. You can, I'm thinking about it right now, you can actually add more weight to the hook shank by wrapping uh, weight on it. I'm up to the eyes. I'm going to, wasn't sure what I was going to do here, but I'm going to actually wrap. Whoop. Let's get that thread back up there. I moved it. I'm actually going to wrap the eye and give it a figure eight. Bring it up front. Give it one more wrap and I'm going to tie that in there. Put a couple of wraps in front of it. And we can use the poke and snip to remove the excess. Clean that up there just a little bit. Now we're going to take our hackle, going to fold everything, fold the hackle out to one side. And this one is actually working pretty nice with the folding. Sometimes they're so stiff they go right back out. Now we're going to wrap this. Go ahead and give it a wrap at the tail. I'm actually, I'm palmering this, but I'm going to keep them pretty tight because I got a lot of, uh, of hackle here. And the hackle is actually growing as we're going forward. Get one another one right in front, and I'm going to jump to the front of it. See if we can get like two wraps in the front. We do have a space right there, not a big deal. That's usually going to be on the lake bottom anyway, except when you jig it. You would fish this just like you would with a rubber worm. And we'll put a couple of wraps right there. I'm going to take it and fold it back. And we can remove that hackle stem. I'm going to try to gather everything from the front. Kind of stroke it back. Hold everything right behind the eyes. There we go. And a wrap back there a little bit just to help push the hackles back. Then I'm going to clean up this nose. Like I said, I use this dark olive, but it kind of looks black. Again, the fish aren't going to really care. They're going to see a worm-like thing. A worm or a big leech or something like that. You can tie these in multiple different colors. If you're using them for bass, you can go the whole range of colors. Now I'm going to take my weed guard... I'm actually going to put it through the eye and then watch the bottom here. You can't really see it that great. Maybe if I put something there. You can see the weed guard there. You, you don't want to pull it too tight. You want to keep a little bit of a little bit below that weed guard. I'm going to take it here and I'm going to pinch it and I'm going to tie that in right there. Now when you're tying this weed guard it's important to keep that bottom one straight with the hook shank. You don't want it kicked off to the side, especially the bottom one. There we go. Now I'm going to just hold it and wrap that in there. Now before I get too close, I'm going to pull that weed guard and I'm going to trim that with my nail clippers.
get that nice and close in there and now I'll just clean up that head or that nose take that and whip finish that and now you bass fishermen here's a nice rubber worm imitation for you nip that off I'm gonna put some head cement on there if you'd like you could put some super glue on there since you got that weed guard in there but be careful with it and just go right around with that and here we have a bunny strip eel worm hope that you learned something from this video hope that you would subscribe to my channel please refer me to your friends please visit my sponsors if you'd like to purchase any flies from me go to etsy.com slash shop slash the Flyman Jim, and most fall, thank you very much for watching my videos.